I want to ask you uh, kind of a, a, a legal psychiatry type of question here. No you've got you you've got you've got psychiatrists that are going on CNN and MSNBC saying that yes, it looks like Trump is unfit. He's mentally unfit. He can't do it. How are they legally getting away with that? Because you cannot legally diagnose someone without actually doing an examination. So how do they get away with this? They can't. Basically, what I'd like to say is the following. Uh, I'm a board examiner. I was a board examiner for 10 years. Brenda Lee, who started this and said that Trump is not qualified, was trained at Yale Divinity School, then at Harvard and MGH. She's not board certified, as far as I know. That means I'm a board examiner. She came out of NIMH. I was offered the directorship of NIMH. So I would like to go into court if somebody is willing to fund me, the Alex Jones Show, or anybody else, and I would like to sue every one of the psychiatrists for malpractice, incompetency, and the fact that they violated what we call the Goldwater Rule, which is the American psychiatric rule saying that you cannot make any diagnosis of a person who you have not seen. From my perspective, I am the only psychiatrist who is trained both in psychiatry at Harvard, in political science or presidential politics at MIT, and, ser and served five different presidents where I can literally tell you what their dynamic is, what their problem is, and the dynamics and problems of every president who I did not serve with because I taught at the War College. None of these psychiatrists are qualified, absolutely none of them unless they work for the CIA or DIA. But none of them at this point are qualified. They should be sued. The reality is that this president of the United States is not sick, quote. He is not crazy, emphatically, not mentally ill, with absolute uh, a clear determination from a board examiner. What he has is a personality which likes to play games, likes to manipulate, likes to have what he has, he likes to be what he wants to be, he can be grandiose, he can be self-aggrandizing, but the bottom line is he is not mentally ill. When you build building after building, when you've worked in New York and you've built a fortune and billions of dollars, I would like to see one psychiatrist, just one, come up and tell me how many millions they have made on a business that they were never in and to create that business. There's not one psychiatrist I know. By the way, I for 10 years, I board examined people exactly like those psychiatrists. And guess how many I flunked on a simple question of, tell me what you see about the patient, just what they're doing right now. I flunked over 60% of all of them on a simple question. That means in my business, you cannot be board certified. Brenda Lee is not board certified. If she were board certified, I would have de- commission her, she would have had a malpractice suit. I will remind every psychiatrist, thousands of you psychiatrists and analysts came out and said the same thing about Barry Goldwater because he seemed to be impulsive. He was talking about strategic warfare and bombing, and then you declared that he was crazy. You were wrong. You were wrong then. You're wrong now, and you're totally inappropriate.